Can you fit the essentials in this little bag? Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I'm going to do a what's in my bag of this beautiful cult Gaia, the micro arc bag crossbody. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that's something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. <laughs> Okay guys, I have another like what's in my bag for you and this is on the cult Gaia arc bag but this is the one that they came out with which is the micro but it has a detachable strap so you can wear it crossbody. So this bag right here I'm actually renting. I do not own this. I'm renting from Rent the Runway. I do have a video all about renting items but if you're interested in Rent the Runway click on the video now to learn more about that. But I don't actually own this bag but I have been using it for a few days. This is a bag I was intrigued with. I used to have the ARC bag and I had it in the mini. And this right here, it's the same color, which is called the natural. It did not come with a strap. It was just, you know, you could wear a top handle and I, and I couldn't fit. You couldn't like wear it on the crook of your arm. It was just a top handle bag. I had gotten it. I think it cost me around a hundred dollars and I ended up selling it because I wasn't using it. Now the retailer for this bag right here with the strap is $198 guys, like retail. Yes, these go on sale all the time, but that is a lot of money to pay for this bag. So when I saw that I was able to rent it, I was like, hmm, let me check it out. I, I'm curious if, since I sold my other one, would I like it with the strap? What is it all about? You know, is it similar to the other size that I have? So I went ahead and rented it. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I was surprised in how much it could fit. And then I do have some thoughts on this strap. So if you're thinking about adding this to your summer wardrobe, let's talk about it. Okay, so first let's go over the dimensions of this bag. So your height here is seven and a half inches. Your width at the longest point is eight inches and your depth is two inches wide. Again, this is made of like a bamboo material. It is called natural and it comes with this non-adjustable but a detachable strap. There is a bar that's right here. So you could take this off and put a different strap with it if you would like, which seems like that would be fun and exciting to do. Um, but this strap, I do find it comfortable. Now it has larger, if you see this has larger beads on the one side and thinner on the top. So the only thing with having a strap that's beaded is when you wear it just as a shorter bag, it can just like roll off your arm. However, the length on this is about 20 inches. So I could wear it very comfortably crossbody, which that is the intent of this bag is to wear crossbody. But if you do wear it on the shoulder, just keep in mind that it can roll off. Again, you could also carry it just top handle with this hanging or you can, I've seen people that wear a top handle and then they'll tie it. I used to tie a scarf on mine. What's cool too is, you know, you could also, since it's smaller, you could wear it as a clutch, just kind of tucked under your arm like that. I used to do that with my little one, but again, I sold mine because I really wasn't wearing that much. And I just thought for the price of a bag that I won't wear all the time, it was pretty high. So I've been selling it, lost some money on it, but not too much. I enjoyed it for a whole summer. So this bag with the strap is around the similar size as mine was. Surprise how much these bags can actually hold. And I do like the newer version that they do with the beads here. Some of the older ones, if you're looking for this in the secondhand market, if you're looking at one of the big ones, they will not have these beads. And I didn't prefer that look. I really like this one with the beading. So let me show you what I can fit in here. Now, as you can tell, like these straps, there are slits all around the bag, but Really not much can fall out unless you have like a credit card or something like that. I wouldn't have anything loose in there. So what I put in here first to show you is I put my old phone here. This is a six plus. I put that in here just to show you that you can easily fit a big like wide phone in here. Yes, it kind of sticks out the top, but since these are upright like this, you can absolutely fit a larger cell phone in there. Next, I have my Clay from Louis Vuitton. And again, instead of opting, I downsize instead of having like my six ring key holder and things like that, I just attached my car keys and then I'm using this as my wallet. And then I have a hand sanitizer and a lip gloss. And that is it. Not much you can put in here. So based on how small it is, I mean, I was really surprised that I could fit all of these things in here. So you have your essentials, you can go out looking cute. 
So positives of the bag, it's very cute, it's easy to use, you have a removable strap, it's fun, it's a conversation piece, and you know, it's, it's an interesting bag. Now the negatives, the price point. I mean, this is a bamboo bag, it's $198 for a smaller bag that you can only wear like three months out of the year, maybe four months, or you know, if you're going on vacation or holiday, it's not really something you're gonna wear in the winter time, and it's not super practical because it is smaller. Another negative I found with this is when I have my lip gloss and stuff in here like loose, I was wearing it, you know, crossbody, and I took the bag off and I was putting it on my lap, and literally, I put it on my lap and then my stuff fell out. Like I, I was putting it in the car and all I did was kind of like, I don't know what it was. Like I just, you know, you take it off. Like think about a regular bag. Like you just kind of like take it off your shoulder. It kind of tipped like this. And I kid you not, this, that's what happened. Like all my stuff fell, not my phone. Luckily my phone was like in my hand, but I was getting in the car and it, everything tipped and all of my stuff fell all into the street. So it is not super secure. And so when that happened to me, that kind of got me thinking, oh, this is not gonna be the bag for me. Because like, you would have to like, when you take it off crossbody, you have to like hold it like this and then put it on your seat. So for me, that, that just kind of sealed the deal that this would not be the bag for me. However, it's very cute, very comfortable, but keep that in mind if, your stuff could fall out. You might have to put, maybe if you put a dust bag or something in there, um, but then I wouldn't like the look of the dust bag coming out. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope this was very helpful for you for this new cult guy bag. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you still have the cult guy bag? Do you think it's on its way out? What are your thoughts? And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye, guys.